so we have s just seen the animation on lipid drafts and now we are going to discuss about the functions of lipid drafts now as you have seen in the animation it uh, the uh, one crucial function of the lipid draft uh, is mentioned which is the cell signaling pathway so uh, as we as i've told in the first slide of my discussion is that these lipid drafts are destined to do specialized works sometimes that work is cell signaling as we can see here in this picture uh, a, this is an immune cell cell and it is possessing the antibodies now if antigen present uh, which is against uh, which is the antigen against this antibody the highly specificity binding uh, with this antigen of this antibody is done and as a result what happens they start to propagate some signal and the signal can be transported uh, from this region inside the cell inside the cytoplasm now as you can see in this picture we can see most of this antibody are being placed in some specialized regions in the in clusters and this region if we zoom into this plot you can see this region is largely made up with the lipid raft components or the components like those modified phospholipids and also uh, the modified types of uh, lipids and proteins and the presence of the high amount of cholesterol that means this lipid raft regions are possessing the different varieties of protein they are possessing this uh, and uh, these antibodies okay so we can see in many cell signaling pathways lipid rafts playing a very very important role they are actually holding very important structures together they are holding some important proteins uh, in the outside the cell they are placing them outside the cell and they uh, they try to attach with the ligands which is coming from the outer space and then interact with that and start to um, take the signal uh, from the outside the cell and send it inside the cell so that's how it works now if we look another function of this lipid draft that is called the endocytosis in the most of the time that we can see here so in normal case what happens suppose this is the molecule you need to endocytose and we are having the gpcrs and these are the receptors okay and we are also having the gpi linked proteins or uh, phosphatidylserine linked uh, proteins here present in the lipid raft regions now what happens in the normal situations these regions are very much important for attaching with this type of molecules and most of the type of molecule that, that we can find some type of ligand can only bind with uh, some specific re receptor we call them the receptor ligand specificity now those ligands uh, are coming from the outer place out outer environments and and the receptor which the cell need to possess cell produce those receptors and place them in specialized regions in the cell membrane and they use this lipid raft regions to to just hold those cell uh, hold those specialized receptors onto them and they place the specialized receptor onto them and those receptor are willing to take and attach with uh, uh, the ligand which is coming from the uh, environment and attached with the ligand and then uh, a side uh, a part or stretch of cell membrane start to pinch uh, in inside the cell it will uh, go inside the cell and finally what it makes it it is called a caveosome and in this caveosome though that protein along with the receptor that ligand along with the receptor is attached and that can be carried out for carried from there to inside the cell and finally to the destination where it need to be delivered so that's how the endocytosis process is being mediated by the lipid drafts so as we can see lipid drafts are the regions which is which normal cells are making uh, with uh, the help of some specialized amount of phospholipids and proteins to to properly do some function now finally if we think about the importance of lipid draft we can say uh, first thing that you can see they are helping in signal transduction pathways and all this the second thing they help to maintain the homeostasis in multicellular organisms because they are very much rigid in nature and also very much dynamic in nature so if uh, the presence of lipid draft component is, is higher in the arctic environment or the organisms in the arctic environment like uh, polar bear in in the in the, in the nor uh, north pole and south pole uh, we are having the um, penguins so we can find uh, the presence of this much more amount of lipid draft regions in their in their cell membrane so they can cope up with the environmental temperature changes okay now uh, the another important thing or the important thing about the lipid raft is the in incorporation of the lipid draft components in establishing different diseases diseases like hiv like alzheimer's disease and also some prion diseases now this hiv disease here is an example of how lipid draft is actually helping to establish this hiv disease now you can see this hiv virus and this hiv is having 
its component like GP120 and also the GP41. Now this GP41 is a leg-like structure and GP120 is the attachment region. Now what happens in the starting point of the reaction? Uh, this HIV1 comes in and it uh, and, and it will bind with the CD4 receptor which is uh, present in the immune system cell and it will bind to this CD4 receptor with this GP120 link and it this type of attachment is very much uh, uh, weak attachment and this attachment can only be stabilized after the incorporation of a domain which is present in in this uh, GP120 region which is called a V3 domain and this domain incorporation can only be done only after making sure that this HIV is destined to attach uh, and go inside this cell okay so after just attachment with the CD4 receptor HIV makes sure that this is the right cell to get in and when it makes sure that then what happens it will uh, it will have an interaction with the lipid draft components and it this lipid draft components actually helping uh, uh, this HIV1 to just lose uh, that V3 domain up and it, it, it just opens up the GP41 as well and just take this, uh, that V3 domain as you can see in this picture getting out uh, which, which in the previous time is, is being closed so it is getting out and it, it is start to incorporate inside this core receptor uh, place which is a part of the lipid raft in this case so core receptor which is present in the lipid raft region is actually helping this HIV1 to, to just take that V3 domain and incorporate them inside the cell membrane. Once they incorporate this V3 domain inside the cell membrane, it, uh, this HIV-1 finally get a get through to go inside the cell. And that's how this HIV uh, mm, genetic material start to go inside the cell and go all this job, do all the job, finally take hold on the, on the whole cell and go against them. So that is an example of how lipid draft is helping to establish this HIV-1 disease. But that is not only the case because this, uh, this lipid drafts help to establish diseases like Alzheimer's and they are also helping uh, to establish diseases like prions. So that's why in modern day understanding we need to understand this lipid draft much, much more and much greater detail to, to prevent this kind of diseases. Okay, that's it and I hope that's going to help you.